Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Kader. I contest Contessa We're off to a great start already because we're going to hold hands. Let's hold oh, hands it's during so the interview. Oh, it's nice. What happened to our I'm like, spring? I'm like an oven right now. It's yeah. incredible. Oh, that's nice. You're hot. <laughs> I'm hot. <laughs> Perfect start to the interview. Anthony Weiner. What a story. To be able to see his full story on film and you're hosting this event tonight. Tell me how excited you are. Um, I, you know, I'm not, I would not characterize the way I feel as excited. I think it's sad when someone with so much promise um, and so much passion for the community and for the district that he represented um, to have such a fall from grace and I feel for his family I think it's always difficult for the people who love those whose um, foibles become public fodder and public scandal and um, and Anthony Weiner is somebody that I've interviewed a number of times myself and he's a very bright man and clearly had a bright future and I think it's sad to see the undermining of his career in such a way. Having interviewed him, did you have any sense of obviously what we've learned throughout this process that there was that other individual lurking underneath? Uh, no, I didn't know. I had no idea at all and there was never any indication in our conversations that that might be the case. Uh, he was never in any way, shape, or form, anything but professional. Although he was aggressive, and you know, and he did not like being questioned. And he, when I was interviewing him, if you were at all aggressive in your questioning of him, he pushed he, back hard. He did, yeah, he he did push back hard. So, um, and the other thing is, I know a lot of people in power, and I I think that the thing that it's easy for all of us to forget is we're all human, and everyone has things that they would rather not see splash on the cover of page six. And so just like I know a lot of New Yorkers grew up with the adage from their mothers, if you don't want to see it on page six, then don't do it. Yep. Fascinating thing with Anthony is we see Donald Trump right now. And obviously what he has figured out is how to utilize the entertainment cycle to create popularity. Anthony Weiner was doing that years ago. I mean, he really understood how to make himself a story, even before the Carlos Danger stuff. Talk to me about, you talk about Anthony Weiner being intelligent. Talk to me about how he was able to make himself such a successful politician before the scandal. Well, I think for one thing, he tried to be relevant in areas outside of what you would think of as politics. So as a, for instance, um, I was sent out one day from the studio to cover the Bernie Madoff scandal. And I was out with the scrum of reporters, most of them local, and I was at MSNBC at the time. And um, Anthony Weiner came out outside of Bernie Madoff's apartment to get on his high horse about how this could never happen again and we couldn't let people be victimized and the reporters mostly were going along with that line of questioning and I don't remember what the issue was but I asked him a totally off topic question about something else that was happening in Congress and he did not like that at all he didn't because he knew how to manufacture the opportunity to take the high road and deliver the message he wanted to give that's brilliant politics not always do you get reporters who cooperate but nevertheless the intention was there and the, and the idea was there and we see that in a lot of our New York politicians, that they, they can see an opportunity for messaging and they know how to get attention and what ma it's what makes them great at their careers, but it's also what shines the spotlight on them so that when things don't go well, um, there's hell to pay. No, you know, and Sheldon Silver is my assemblyman. I live downtown. He, he was my um, representative and he brought home for the district. He did it over and over again, and that's why he kept getting reelected, despite the rumors of corruption and things like that. And it finally caught up with him. And wouldn't it be great to see elected officials who stand up and say what they mean and mean what they say?